All right guys, welcome back. You know what today's video is all about, but before we get started, I want to talk about a couple of things. A, I'm hoping that my audio sounds a little bit better. Yay, nay, I've had some complaints in the past few weeks about my audio and honestly, I have known what the problem is. I have just been lazy and not fixing it. I simply needed an extension cord to bring my mic closer to me. Um, and so I finally got on Amazon and ordered a $10 cord. That's literally all I needed. I am the laziest human being on the planet, but I'm hoping that this um, is helping out with the audio. I hope it sounds a lot smoother. Let me know. Time will tell. We'll figure it out together. <laughs> Secondly, I am so excited to finally announce that I have relaunched an entirely brand new website slash blog. Uh, if you weren't familiar with my blog previously, I was very heavily involved with that back in college. Still to this day, I'm proud of my first blog. I have not posted on it in a really long time, or at least posted on it frequently. And it still manages to bring in like over 50,000 views a month. And I have to give credit to Pinterest for that a lot of people have just kind of like repinned my posts but I have um, that that blog is still going to be up I'm not deleting it but I did create an entirely new blog and website and it is called shelbywilson.com <laughs> just my name I will have it listed down below I'm, I'm so excited about it because I am sharing things other than beauty on this website so I have home I have beauty I have lifestyle um, eventually I'm gonna add a food section once we are moved into our new house and I can actually photograph nice photos of food um, just a lot of stuff that I uh, am really passionate about that I don't share on this channel. Um, so I would really appreciate it if you guys could check it out, leave me your feedback. I worked really hard on designing it. Um, it, you know, it's been a long time since I took web design and luckily I used the platform Squarespace and it really made things a little bit more of a breeze than what they could have been. Uh, but I'm really proud of the website. I don't have a ton of content up yet, but um, if you subscribe to the blog, it will let you know when I have new posts. And like I said, I'm just really excited to share things in my life other than beauty, things that I am passionate about. I feel like things on YouTube, especially in the beauty community are just, some of the stuff is just so far away from what I am as a person. And I'm just so disconnected with a lot of things that happen in the beauty community nowadays. And um, although I'm still a makeup artist, I still love makeup. Uh, I just feel like, you know, um, this this website is kind of like a grown up version of myself. I'm leaving my college blog behind. I'm leaving behind, you know, things that may have been really important to me back then, but maybe not so much now. Um, so I'll get off this tangent. Finally, we'll get into the favorites. Just wanted to let you guys know, really appreciate your support. And let's go ahead and start. Okay, Bare Minerals Bare Pro Liquid Foundation. Um, I have worn this for the entire month of November. I have had this for several months and I explained this in a few videos back. I had it in another room in my house and I totally forgot about it. And then I pulled it out because a subscriber was asking me some questions about it and I thought, hey, haven't used it in a while started using it again and holy cow i like i love it i'm wearing it today um it's full coverage very weird because it is more of a matte finish um or at least demi matte finish and normally i don't go for those types of foundations but this has just first of all when i first tried this i knew that it had amazing longevity to it when i did my initial review of this i said one thing i was really impressed with this is that it did not budge all day and still still i have even went days when i really don't even set it and it manages to last all day i wore it on thanksgiving and you know on thanksgiving you're like stuffing your face all day and you know you know giving people hugs and things of that nature and most of the time my makeup looks like crap at the end of the day if I'm being honest and it looked really good it looked good because I wore the bear pro um, so pretty much every tutorial I did this past month I use bear pro in so if you want to see it damn these braces damn these braces I cannot talk to save my life you guys don't know how many like outros I have to do or outcuts what is it called outtakes I don't know. 
oh it is so bad i it's it's a struggle to talk <laughs> but anyways if you want to see that foundation in action all of my videos this past month i have used uh that product in another product i am really shocked that i have been enjoying as much as i have been and it's the urban decay all-nighter concealers now i hate 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 the urban decay all-nighter foundation um never could get down with it it was just so thick on me it looked like i was wearing a mask and i just i couldn't get down with it um and so when urban decay sent me these concealers i almost did not even try them that's how much i disliked the foundation i was like okay if this is anything like the foundation I know I'm not going to use it. I was prepared to go ahead and donate all of those concealers. Um, but I just on a whim one day tr uh, decided to try them and I was like, oh, okay. These actually look pretty good on me. And I have been using them ever, ever since with the Bear Pro, these two this month. Um, that has been my combo. And I don't know what it is. It is a very full coverage concealer, a very mattifying, but it doesn't look bad on me. Like it does not look bad. Anytime I use a matte concealer, especially if it's more of a full coverage, it always just looks like crap. And I don't know how this manages to stay looking so smooth on my skin. I don't know if it's just that it corresponds really well with this foundation, but I have been using these nonstop. I've been mixing the colors fair warm and light warm just to kind of get my perfect color but these are full coverage seamless i feel like not everyone is going to like these especially if you like light coverage if you like a dewy finish you're probably not going to like these but if you go for more of like that medium full coverage look um on a daily basis or you just need a pretty full coverage concealer i don't know i i i can get down with these i like them okay mac fix plus baby I use this in my professional kit all the time, uh, but I never buy it for myself. And Mac happened to send me a little um, Studio Fix collection this past month, and they included um, the Fix Plus in it. And I was like, hey, y'all go ahead and put this on my desk. And look, you see how much I've used it to right here? I love Fix Plus. I mean, I use it on all my clients. I don't know why I don't use it on myself, but um, it's just a tried and true product. All of these setting sprays, you know, that have come out in the past several years, I feel like MAC Fix Plus still stands tall. I mean, I'm not saying that it's better than, you know, like Urban Decay All Nighter. Those are all for different purposes, but this is such a multi-purpose product. You can use it um, to spritz your brushes with. You can use it to set your face. You can use it as a primer. Um, so many different things. You can add pigment to this and turn it into like um, a shimmering like body mist. I have one of those, a little mini in my kit. I put Mac Melon pigment in it and I use it like on the collarbones. Um, most of the time, if um, my clients have really tan skin that's when it, it will pop um, but just so many different things you can do with fix plus I have been using it again alongside of all of these super matte face products I've been using I've been using this to kind of tone it down and you know give it like that smooth look Lip combo of the month has been MAC Japanese Maple Lipstick. This is another one of my favorites that I keep in my kit. And I use this on brides all the freaking time and never use it on myself. Again, this was one that MAC sent me. And so I ended up keeping it for myself and I've been using it nonstop. It's what I'm wearing today. And I'm also, uh, or I have been wearing it with the LA Girl Ultimate Lip Intensity Stay Auto Lip, Lip Liner. That's a really long name. Um, but the color is in Nonstop Nude. These LA Girl Lip Liners are awesome. They stay on all flipping day. They're super creamy. They twist up so you don't have to sharpen them. And I just think they're a really great quality product from the drugstore. And you guys know, I oftentimes just don't have very good things to say about drugstore products, um, but this is good. LA Girl as a brand or as a whole, every, most of the things I've tried from them, I have been pleased with. And this lip liner is no exception. Um, so yeah, Nonstop Nude by LA Girl and MAC Japanese Maple. It's what I've been wearing all, all month, literally just keep it on my desk in front of me and I, I have it just to put on with my everyday look. Can we talk about this pitiful guy that has probably been in a thousand 
favorites videos. This is still my limited edition Tahiti Laguna bronzer from NARS. It's simply Laguna bronzer just in like bigger packaging. Um, and it came with like that little Eda brush. I have had this for so long, two years, I guess. I mean, this, this has to at least be two years old. And look, I am still, I'm still not out. I use this all the time. This is like a never ending pot of bronzer. I do not understand. Like I cannot use it up, but I always notice when I do my makeup and I'm not 100% happy with it. Almost 100% of the time it's because I have not used Laguna. I'll have used a Becca bronzer or um, I like my Physicians Formula Contour Trio, but again, it just doesn't really give the same effect that Laguna has. And so for that reason, I'm throwing Laguna back in here, giving it another SO because I just love it so much. It is literally the best bronzer color for all skin tones. Um, I would say all skin tones leading up into probably like the medium deep range, but I absolutely love it. It just looks so good no matter what the season is. And I, I mean, I just wanted to give it a shout out. It is, I will be sad on the day that this is finally empty, but I will run straight to, so actually no, I won't, I will not run straight to Sephora. I get a NARS Pro discount and you better believe, honey, I'm using it on a new Laguna. Okay, last but not least is one of the few items I picked up from the Sephora VIB Rouge sale, and it is the Benefit Hula Bronzer Brush. Um, I had been wanting this for a really long time and just, you know, never picked it up. And I was like, hey, might as well get it during the sale. And I've really been enjoying it. You can use this for so many different things. Um, I have been using it for bronzer. I've been using it for powder, mainly bronzer and powder, I guess, is what I've been using this for. I don't think I've used it for blush yet, but you definitely could. Um, just a really just nice quality brush, really soft, and it just makes application super easy. Um, so I wanted to mention this in case any of you guys have seen this and you've been curious about it. I'm a big fan. I have really been enjoying it. Um, it's not too pricey. I think it's around like the $24 range. Um, so I mean, pretty typical for like a high end brush, but yeah, I have been enjoying it. All right, guys, so that is it for monthly favorites. I hope you enjoyed. Please check out the new website. Leave me your feedback. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know some, um, you know, posts that you'd like to see regarding, you know, things other than beauty. Obviously, my beauty category on the website is the fullest at this point, but um, like I said, I'm gonna be doing home, I'm gonna be doing lifestyle, food, just so many different things um, that hopefully I can just share tips and advice on. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.